Good evening parents. I am Seema Johari and I am going to read a bedtime story to your tiny tots. We all want our children not to be greedy, boastful, proud, angry, dishonest and lazy. And for that, these values should be imbibed in them rather unknowingly. I believe reading bedtime story to the children at night can build their character and attitude. So here is another story named Not Me. Hello children. Nini and Dia, the two sisters, were off on their holidays to the country. They were invited to stay with their grandmother and they wished to see the farms, the ponds and the animals. Ducks, parrots and crow where wheat on the land farmers grow. Up to the hill and down to the pond we would go round and round. The girls sang in excitement. Grandmother lived in a cottage in the middle of a small village all by herself. She was a fine lady. Every morning she went for a walk with a little basket hung on her arm and did all her shopping herself. She then cooked for the day and took care of the house. At 7 a.m. the first day, Dia and her little sister Nini were still sleeping. Good morning, said the grandmother and asked, who is going to help me to make the bed? Covering her eyes with both of her hands, a lazy Dia cried. Not me. She then turned her head and fell off to sleep. May I? Little Nini got up immediately and asked politely. She picked up the other end of the bed sheet then to help. Granny was preparing the breakfast for the kids some time later. She baked soft muffins and made cheese sandwiches and called the children lovingly again. Now who is going to lay the table for the breakfast? Not me, said Dia, sipping her milk leisurely. She was watching the TV. After all, it was her summer holidays. And little Nini laid the table to help Granny. After breakfast, it was time to clean the house and Grandmother wanted some fresh red rose from the garden for her vase. Who is going to get the flowers for me? She asked. Ah, not me, said Dia and buried her face in the video games. And little Nini ran outside to get them. In the afternoon, there was a movie show Ice Age 4 in the nearby community hall and Grandmother was free. Who is going to club to see the Ice Age? Grandmom asked the kids again. Hooray! Both the girls came running to her in excitement. I love seeing the animated movie, little Nini told her shyly. So do I, Dia, the elder one told her. Dia then asked eagerly, Shall we change, Granny? Wait, wait, not so fast. First tell me who made the bed. Granny asked Dia, the elder one. Er, Granny, not me. Dia said slowly. And who laid the breakfast table in the morning? Mm, Nini only did. And who brought the roses from the garden for me? Well, not me. Nini did that too said Dia in a voice close to a whisper. Dia's grandmother with a winsome smile told her, Dia, your daily job of doing household work can't be wished away. All you need to have is a little empathy in your heart and a smile on your lips to make a cheerful day. Nini will come with me to see the movie as she has both. And from that day to this day, Dia has never been lazy again. Okay,
children, sleep tight and have a good night. Bye-bye.